Template Monster presents. Hey everyone, people often ask me how much does it cost to create a website? That's actually a tricky question. Uh, the trickiness about it is that there's a lot of factors that uh, influence the overall cost of the website production in the end, uh, but I will still try to answer. If you're watching this video, then probably you're looking to build a website uh, which is similar to uh, the websites that 90% of the internet consists of. Uh, in this case, the website production will not cost you much. Uh, we're probably talking about the amount of around $200 of initial cost and well under $100 of the maintenance cost each year. Um, now, uh, the initial stage of setting up a website consists of uh, basically deciding the first important question. Uh, this is uh, the technological platform that your website will be built with. Uh, there are two options. Uh, first option is a one-time payment, which means that you actually download a product from the vendor uh, and you acquire it on a lifetime license basis. And in this case, it will cost you about $55 to $150. That's a one-time payment. You don't renew anything and it's yours forever. And then uh, there's another option called SaaS, stands for uh, Software as a Service. In this case, you um, uh, acquire a website template, uh, the company hosts it for you, and uh, you renew the license on a regular basis, either on a monthly basis or a yearly basis. In this case, uh, the, it will cost you around $120 to $140 each year. Uh, you may pay monthly, that will be a bit more expensive, uh, but the important question, uh, the important thing here is that you have to renew uh, the license uh, each year. Then if you decide to go for uh, the downloadable product, uh, which is a one-time payment, uh, you'll need a web hosting and an installation service. Uh, web hosting is basically where you put the template files and um, this is how you know it, it becomes available for other people to visit. Um, uh, for most websites, the regular shared hosting will will do just fine. Will be more than enough. Uh, we won't dig too deeply into the web hosting issues because that's not a, what this video is about today. Uh, but the regular shared hosting will cost you around uh, fifty to eighty dollars uh, each year. You may pay for several years up front. In this case, you will be slightly cheaper, uh, but still, this is the amount that you should be looking out for. And then there's this third component, which is the website installation. Uh, it can be provided either by a website template vendor or by freelancers on uh, some platforms like Odesk, Elance, or etc. Uh, the website installation normally costs around $50 and uh, normally it's done within several hours after you actually complete the payment. Uh, but the good thing about website installation is that you can do it yourself. Um, it will take you maybe a bit more time than, uh, than it will take the professional to complete, but still uh, the templates these days are not hard to install. and. Uh, uh, that's that's actually that's that's all real and uh, you can do it yourself then then there's uh, the maintenance cost that you have to pay each year uh, to make sure that your website uh, stays online uh, it consists of two basic components that you cannot uh, uh, exist without this is the web hosting renewal uh, which again uh, is 50 to 80 dollars a year and then there's the domain name renewal, uh, which is around $10 a year. So uh, as you can see, uh, the maintenance cost is uh, well under $100 every year. And um, that's not a lot, especially for a business as an investment. So uh, creating a website is uh, no longer a very expensive issue.
Thanks for watching. That's it for this episode. See you next time. Bye-bye. Do you want to get an answer to any question regarding webmastering and getting your business online? Visit templatemonster.com startup hyphen hub to learn how you can bring your ideas to life.